Hello all my beautiful stitching friends. Sandy the Sunroom Stitcher coming to you from the sunny and chilly folds of my lilac thicket. Uh, it's the day after Easter. It's Monday, April 18th. Um, it's Easter Monday. I hope all of you had a really good Easter. Lauren and I had a good one. Um, we went over to my sister's house where the family was and um, we all brought something. My sister made the ham and potatoes and green bean casserole and I bought um, a pink cake. Uh, it's actually called a pink velvet cake and it didn't turn out very good. Um, I uh, used my KitchenAid mixer for the first time and I actually wanted to double the recipe and after it was baked I realized that I hadn't doubled the, the fat in it. I guess one half and one half equals one half. <laughs> But anyway, so it didn't turn out very good, but it was coarse and frosting was good though. <laughs> Homemade frosting. So anyways, we had a blessed Easter. My family was there. Um, and my sister's father-in-law lives with them. Um, and he joined us and he's really a very nice man. Um, he really is. I, I really do, I would say I love him because he's a, he's the kind of father-in-law everybody would like to have. Um, my sister is very blessed. So, anyways, it's been three weeks since I last came to you. Just, uh, things have been conspiring and I sort of went through a little bit of a funk. Um, um, emotional funk and it's it's actually gotten a heck of a lot better I do get really frustrated sometimes with um, with stuff and uh, I'm getting really better at controlling that um, one of the one of the tools that I use, of course, is prayer. And the, when I notice when I start getting that way, it's because I'm not doing the things like praying and listening to my Bible in your podcast. Um, that I I pretty much that goes away. I stop doing it or do it so sporadically and when I come back to it it's so what's the word healing and so anyway that is got to be more of a priority in my life on a daily basis I will tell you when I come to you again, you're going to see me with short hair. Um, I've got an appointment to get my hair cut this week. I'm going to get it cut in a pixie. My hair has gotten very, very thin. And it's lost all of its body and all of its curl. And I'm trying to fight the vanity of that. But it really bothers me at night when I sleep. My hair is wound around my neck. and ugh. So I'm going to cut it cut in a pixie style. I'm going to get my ears re-pierced so I can start wearing my earrings again. And just a couple of things just to refresh me and I guess sort of... Um, just the, they speak to my vanity that's all that is vanity earrings and hair that's vanity <laughs> but anyways we have had some beautiful weather here 
Um, and we have, uh, it's been warmer than last year. My lilacs have not bloomed yet. And last year at this time, my lilacs had finished blooming. But our spring was much cooler last year than it was here. Uh, this year. Now last year our forsythia did not bloom in the front front yard. It got its leaves but it never bloomed and I don't think it's going to bloom again this year. Um, peonies have come up. My paper whites and daffodils oh are just in proliferation. Uh, red bud <clears throat> red buds have bloomed. The one in the backyard is done. The one in the back the one in the front yard is done. The one in the backyard is not. And uh, Bradford pear trees didn't really bloom anywhere really well uh, this year, which is unusual. And it's probably good because those things are heck on your sinuses. <laughs> but the birds have been playing their mating games, and I saw sparrows running around with grass in their mouths or in their beaks. And so the dogs have been enjoying the weather. Um, Orin's done a really good job of brushing Allie regularly. And her coat is, she's still shedding, but not like she was. Uh, so Orin's really gotten the, the majority of that. Uh, Noah's going to get his toenails clipped uh, and his uh, groomed next week. And um, I did get a new printer, and I'll show you what I've been doing with that. Um, but all, all in all, things have been really, really good. I've been feeling pretty good. I've started taking um, a daily vitamin for senior citizens. And... Um, I actually think I feel a little bit better. And I do want to get out and start walking just a bit. I think it'll help my back a lot. Um, because of my weight and the Meniere's. I have Meniere's and it's just, my balance is so bad. But, I'm still here. I'm able to walk. I'm able to stand and do dishes. I'm able to cook. I'm able to, you know, run to the grocery store. I'm able to walk outside to my sunroom. I'm able to, you know, bring the trash cans in from the curb. Um, I feel very, very blessed. I just get out of sorts when I'm sort of like pulled, kicking and screaming out of my house um, to, to do things. And I just want to stay home and stitch. That's the biggest part of my days is my stitching. and. I'll watch YouTube or, or Amazon or uh, watch movies. I like the Hallmark movies. And so, anyways, but just sort of feeling down and out a bit. I think we all get that way because the we've had some wonderful days outside and then we've had some really cold days. Yesterday it was rainy. It rained all Easter. So nobody was getting their Easter egg hunts outside. <laughs> But anyways, so let me show you. I do have a bit of a finish. And you guys uh, remember I was doing the Palto Lap April. And I'll just remind you of that. I had showed that to you um, two weeks ago. And I love it. And then I decided to take a break from Gloria. And I did the May. And let's see if it looks a little bit better. May. And I absolutely love the May. And May has been done with on um, uh, 32 count and I didn't realize it. I thought it was 28 when I pulled it out but I loved the color. And what did I do with it? There it is. Here I thought I was ready and I wasn't. Shame on me, huh? Oh. I 
trusty journal. It's getting filled up really quick. May. So May, uh, the fabric was Silk Weaver's Classic 28 Count Linen. Oh, I was wrong. Ah, you know what it is? It's the uh, June one that's on 32 count. Okay, so this is 28 count. It is Silk Weaver's 28 count linen in celery is the color. And it's similar to DMC 647. The floss, I've used two uh, General Arts colors. One was a shaker color, Tea Rose. And I love the Tea Rose. That's the pink. And it is similar to the range of 37, 27, and to 316. It's those because it's lighter and darker. And then mistletoe is the green. And there's a range of 367, 320, and 368 are the DC, DMC colors that it's similar to because it goes from lighter to darker and I actually love this and the video is not going to do it justice so I have chosen for June some colors uh, June is here. And the, I went through, um, I wanted to do it a lilac color. So this is um, Silk Weaver's 32 count even weave in grape fizz. And it actually doesn't show up to just a hint darker than that. And I've chosen two colors um, to stitch with and you don't, that looks washed out. It's actually a yellow color called crushed pineapple and that's going to be for the name and then this is uh, defunct six strand sweets by Jessica Burr it's no longer being made it's sugared violets and it is a lilac color and they just look so pretty together so that'll be June now for July because I was thinking about July um, I wanted to do a red white and blue theme and I definitely have red white and blue variegated uh, floss um, I have several different brands and so I've got silk, a silk one and different cotton ones and I haven't chosen that yet or, but this is in my mind. And then I was thinking about the fabric and there really isn't a red, white and blue fabric that I know of. So I got this idea, you know how, how on the Hannah Dales that there's like little, it's like they've um, splattered little black dots all over it. I thought, what about doing that with like a red writ dye and a blue writ dye? Just understated, not heavy, and not, I will, I'm going to do some experimenting with that. And but doing it on a white fabric and then using the red, white, and blue variegated to um, maybe do the borders and then do the do the the July part in a maybe a deep red or a deep blue. Not sure, but anyways, that's what I'm thinking for July. And these were free designs. The months are, and I really do like them. Um, they're pretty quick to, um, they are pretty quick to stitch. This one took me four days, and honestly, it could, it, it should have only taken me two, <laughs> or maybe even one, 
but I started it on April uh, 10th and I finished it on April 14th but <clears throat> I really like that and I think I'm going to make these into little cushions that hang on a mug tree to set in the on the dining room table in I think that will be a lovely way to display them you know another thing I you if you had a big enough wreath you could actually put all of the months on the wreath too that would be a novel idea so let me show you Gloria and for Gloria I'm gonna turn this on and um, I have been working on Gloria and I am getting really close to being done now you see Excelsis down there at the bottom um, I am working on the two border motifs uh, actually the I've been working on the border as I've gone down so I wouldn't have to go back and do it working on this red one here and it will come down to here and then the last row um, is the where there's like a a badge a gold badge and then the word do in gold and then bring the border down there and then bring it across and I'll be done and it is just a stunner and when I took I took my stitching with me over to my sister's yesterday and my sister said she says the pictures just don't do it justice so anyways I'm so excited about that and also what I did was on my blog I found on um, Elizabeth Foster's site old site I think it is uh, counted illuminations who is this was a Patricia Andrele is the mother of Elizabeth Foster and um, Patricia's past but m so many of her designs were in the cross stitch and country craft magazine and um, she had a list on her website of the counted illumination designs that and what magazine and issue those designs were in so I took that information and I posted it in a entry on my blog so it's a good reference if you're interested in uh, Patricia Anderley and perhaps if you might have some of her um, designs in your magazines you can look at that list and of course the list that link to my blog is down below so and I'm gonna be working on this today today's gonna be a day of stitch I have groceries coming at 10 o'clock as soon as I get them put away I will be stitching now I did buy a little bit of stash um, and you can tell that I got a little bit depressed can't you because I when you get depressed like that or frustrated or go through those emotional swings that's when it's dangerous for you to the things that you've been working on whether it's smoking or whether it's eating or whether it's shopping whatever your obsessive compulsive thing is yeah and so I really didn't do too badly I did buy some another sheet of the fusible interfacing and this is what I'm going to put on the back of after I wash Gloria I'm going to put this on the back and then I'm going to put my beads on so it'll stabilize the back and I am finding that some of the ends of my of my stitching are were are coming out 
So this will prevent it once it's framed um, from stitches coming loose or you know the ends coming loose. So I got this and the interfacing was $2.69 on um, 1-2-3 stitch. I also I got a little charm. It's a little tiny star. And I was thinking of, I had at one point, had that this in my basket at one, two, three, um, because I had purchased, or uh, wasn't quite sure which charm I wanted to use on Night Nymph. And this one is just a tiny little star, little crystal star. I got that. And this one was $2.32. cents. $2 and then I bought True Trullalas. I'd seen one of them on the Nightly Stitcher, Dina. And I do like Trullala. And I don't know if you can see these or how well you can see these. This one is the Gray Hen. And this one is the white hem. And one was twelve fifty nine and the other was eleven nineteen. Then I have purchased this. I think I told you about the, about this the last time. Maybe not. It is uh, uh, ran in a wreath. I was thinking of my mom. And the ran was five seventeen. It was on sale. This is a Lucy Heaton. I, I thought that was beautiful. I loved the blue flowers. Then, so all of these things that I purchased were, those things were thirty seven forty five. The shipping hand handling was three forty nine. Then I purchased three of these and one uh, or four of them. Yeah, four of them. And I've only got two here, but one is a. This is a tiger, and I thought it was beautiful. This is from a Ukrainian designer. I didn't know they were a Ukrainian designer when I purchased it. But these were $2.20. They were on sale, half price, on Etsy. And this is this tiger. My sister graduated from the University of Missouri. And their mascot is the tigers. And so... We are huge Tiger fans here. We're Missouri fans. We do not like the Jayhawks from the University of Kansas. This is not a Jayhawk house or a Jayhawk family. <laughs> and this is Jayhawk colors. <laughs> and this is the state of Missouri. And I loved it because it was red, white, and blue. I also bought one that's got a, it's like a picture of the of the hills, the green hills and blue skies in the center of the state of Missouri and I also bought one that was a round is a round starry night one. So that was um I got four of these so they were $8.80 which would take me up to $44 which is quite a bit of money. That would have been better put in my husband's um, car fund. But anyways, so that is my stash report, my progress report, and my finish report. Um, I love my new printer. It's a Canon printer. It's the same um, brand of the printer that I that I had before. Um, which is my old ones right there. It uses the same printer cartridge. 
so I can take the printer cartridges out of the old one and use them on the in the new one but also I have some I, I like to keep one extra printer cartridge of uh, color and black and white here and I can use those in it there won't be any waste there but it prints really nicely which is something I've been doing and um, one of the things I've been doing is I noticed that I've bought a lot of things on Etsy and I've forgotten what I bought on Etsy so I sort of got this idea from Dina and if you haven't watched the nightly stitcher floss tube you should she is amazing I she lives about halfway between here and st. Louis and um, about I think she said 20 years ago she uh, worked in a cross-stitch shop so and she's full of ideas um, really she's about my age and maybe maybe a year or two older we do have some things in common which is really cool and um, I am just I think she's delightful and her husband likes to fish and he's uh, gone down fishing in Warsaw which is where my brother owns land um, down on uh, Truman Lake and my brother's land backs up to the converse or the Department of uh, the Missouri Department of Conservation land there around Truman Lake and his property and he goes down my brother goes down there and he hunts and he fishes and Dina's husband goes down there and fishes and she was saying that her dad worked for John Deere um, for many many years well my mom worked for John Deere but only for a couple of years uh, from 60 65 to 67 um, they found out that she was pregnant she tried to hide it and so they fired her um, when she started showing and she was pregnant with my little sister um, so that's what they did in those days right or wrong it it you know we all can agree that that's pregnant women can be very um, can be very good employees <laughs> I know my mom can my mom's always been a really hard worker um, my mom's an amazing woman so Anyways, we have several, and she drinks Dr. Pepsi. Here's to you, Dina. And here's the proof. Uh, Diet Pepsi. <laughs> there will be other things, I'm sure. Anyways, so she was, um, she uses those combs to make books of her charts and I so I started printing out going going through the downloads I can still download a lot of the the um, things that I bought on Etsy so I've gone through and this is just a handful and they are slippery devils because they ha I have the page protectors and I just print off the entire chart and put it in a page protector and so far this is what I have um, but I've got some really I mean there's some cute things here that I've forgotten about and it's easy to forget what you already have I am a test I am an example of that if you could see my stash oh my word um, so that's that, and I already had the page protectors, so, anyway, alrighty, let me show you, so was doing that, some more stuff, so we'll go down in here, uh, da 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 and a couple of um, 
a couple of uh, freebies I wanted to share with you um, that I thought you might enjoy. This is from Doreen Jones's uh, Facebook design site. This is a little rabbit freebie. Spring Rabbit. That was her uh, freebie last Friday. If you go back through the posts on Friday, she she posts a free design. And that's just simply incredibly generous. And um, so I thought this was really cute, even though even though Easter is over. That is just, she's just got the cutest little face. So I will put the link to, to Doreen's Facebook page in the notes, show notes below. And this is, this was one I stumbled on. This is from 2014. It's Tanner Timia's Tulip Stitch Along, 2014 traditional Hungarian tulip mo motifs. This is an amazing free pattern. And the link to this freebie will be down below. I, um, the, uh, blog the blog is faltos boltos blogspot but anyways those are the couple of freebies that i have to show you and uh, one other thing i wanted to show you cuz i'm going to ask you what is your wallpaper on your phone i've got one of my my projects on my phone. Yeah. Uploaded. This is um this is the little sampler, the willow sampler from 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 my heart and um that I sent to Heather. But I thought it was cute. I like it. I like the little icons on my on my phone they really show up well on that anyways so I was gonna talk about how you know because I do how I find freebies but I think I'm gonna do that another time maybe I'll just give you a couple of things um, is that I um, I just click around but there are some things you can do Facebook has a lot of free designs and some of um, the designers who have Facebook pages in their files they may have free designs you may want to check there um, my eyes are always looking at when I visit a when I visit a shop um, like one two three has freebies a freebie page on it um, such like that um, I used my old freebies for for uh, names of designers and I would look to see if they have a current a current website um, and I, I do that continually also I will look for that designer on the Wayback Machine or the Internet Archive uh, Liz, I was talking about Elizabeth Foster. She has a new blog now or a new shop now. But if you go to the Wayback Machine and you put in Elizabeth Foster or Betsy Foster or Illuminate, Counted Illuminations, there's a whole different shop there. And there's freebies on there that I don't think she has on her new, on her new site. So that's that's a hint. Um, search engines are a really good way of doing it too. Um, I am particular though. I do not like the illegal Russian, Chinese, or otherwise sites that have 
charts that you've paid for free and they aren't they're they're like scans of them um, I don't mess with those and if there's any inkling that that might be illegal an illegal copy I I just don't have anything to do with it um, oh this is such a good tip and it's one that I discovered is you can actually click um, let me see here right click no left click on an image that you see on a page and then you'll have a menu come up and they'll be search the web for image and you right click on that and it will do a search to see if it can find the page where that image or one that's similar to it is. I have well, I have found a lot of free designs, legal free designs that way. So use the power of, of that. Um, I did not know that was there. I would say probably about two or three months ago I, I discovered that and I just tried it. Don't be afraid to try that try something um, you may think your the internet will explode if you do but it doesn't um, I use I chase links even if I can't read the language like if I see something on the side I will click on it see if it takes me somewhere I often I often go to there's a there's a lot of times on blogs there's blogs I follow and so I'll click on those too I find a lot of interesting stuff that way um, one thing gratuity gr gratuity or gratuity grids um, those that's pretty uh, or something that reads real close to that um, free designs that's what that means um, I don't I generally don't find any legal designs on any of the Soviet bloc sites um, and what I'm talking about is the old Soviet Union you know Latvia the Ukraine um, Georgia and I'm not talking about the state of Georgia, I'm talking about the country of Georgia, Russia. Um, generally, those are there's a proliferation of, of illegal charts there. Uh, sign up for newsletters. Lots of newsletters have freebies in them. Use Pinterest, um, but go to the original source of where that pin came from uh, don't use the charts that show up on your Pinterest um, there should be it should be pinned from the original source um, and actually uh, the thing about Pinterest is it's really just become an advertisement for uh, people wanting to sell you their their prod their Etsy their Etsy shop with with charts and that annoys the hell out of me. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I guess I I won't go over that. But if you have any questions about about how I get free designs, I mean I. There are so many out there. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. And this tulip time that I show, or this tulip stitch along I found you, found, was one where I saw it um, on a sidebar of another another blogger, and I just followed that over, and boom, that was an incredible find. That's beautiful. Um. So anyways, that is 
that's it really for me here at the at the beautiful lilac thicket it's about maybe 40 45 degrees out right now it's supposed to be a high of 59 today um, and there's a Noah Kins. hi Noah what you up to yeah I love you oh, there's the Yorkie bow yeah there's the tongue and the wagging tail yeah hi oh yeah sniffle snort snort do you want to say hi to everybody do ya cuz you're really cute you know you know how cute you are oh no he doesn't want to show off he's not a conceited Yorkie <laughs> anyway so the uh, The Bible verse for today is from Romans 3, Romans 3, 23, 24. And oh, I want to say Kings is just, those names in Kings, just, I'm lost. Lost, 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 lost. <laughs> um, okay, so Romans, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. And that was the quote of the, that was the quote of the day that came the day after Easter today. It came today. And I I um I posted something, it was a it was something Father Mike said that um, it wasn't nails that kept Jesus on the cross. It was his love for us. And as joyous as this season is, it's really sad to think about how he died. It's very cruel, but it was a cruel time. People were broken then, people are broken today. But... If you truly repent and you love Jesus, if you love God with all of your heart, you're forgiven and you shouldn't try so hard not to repeat your sins, <laughs> which is difficult and you're not always successful. But the wonderful news is that God always loves you. He always loves you. So with that, I'm going to leave you because I will be having groceries come and um, I'm looking forward to drinking some more Diet Pepsi and stitching and loving the Lord with all of my heart and with loving you guys with all of my heart. And so for now, God bless. I love all of you.